What is up guys? It is Ryder with Polar Knives Steel and today we're going to be going over my knife collection. So first of all, I know I don't have a ton of time because we got a lot of knives to get through here. Uh, I'm going to go over one of my favorite parts of my knife collection and that is my Pelican case. Uh, so I'm not going to go into each of the stickers but I'm just going to show it off a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and clamp it down here. Hope my camera doesn't fall on top of you. Uh, lots of stuff on here, turn it to the side, Monkey Edge, lots of Spider Co. I don't take my case out uh, very often, so this is about as, as much uh, exposure as it will get. On the bottom, and uh, yeah, there's the back side. So, uh, if you guys are more interested in that, let me know. I definitely enjoy doing it up, so if you guys have any questions. This is a Pelican 1500, by the way. I will just jump straight into the knives. Um, so, we're going to start over here with uh, a lot of the production knives. You can see over here, just just a uh, you know, sneak peek. Uh, fixed blades will be another day. Actually, we're going to start outside the case. So CRKT Pizzota, just a little knife, like 20 bucks. This is the CRKT Casper. Yeah. Interesting knife, nice and big. And if you guys are wondering if this is going to be worth your time, I have some customs in here. Uh, a bunch of Microtechs in the back here. Um, so just stick around or you can skip to the end of the video. Buck, I don't even know what anymore. It's one of my very first knives. Drop that guy down. Uh, let's go with the Benchmade Mini Grip. Guys, interesting little knife. Spider Co. Tenacious, modified by me, Tonto. Alright, let's just jump into it. So we're going to go in kind of a weird order here, but uh, this is the ZT0350, gifted to me by my best friend. And this is a monster of a knife. Got that tiger stripe on there. Couple new tiger stripes in the case these days. And actually, I'm gonna take these patches out. I like to keep patches in my case because I have all this blank space here. Um, but Rydex, I think that's Rydex. Could be Detroit. It's probably Detroit Rydex collab or something. EDC Alaska, Juan, great guy. If you're ever in Anchorage, go hit up EDC Alaska. I believe they're on Northern Lights still. Ed Cope, super cool dude. I'm on his books. Just got to wait eight years. Release the Kraken. Drop that down there. What would Farmer Rob do? And of course, I've got all my little pins around the corners here. Um, Spider Co. and then my Cybert one. I'll pull that guy out. Such an intricate little pin. It feels like almost a disservice not to show it off a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I like to keep little things like that. We got a side pop uh, bottle cap over here, uh, and then this we'll get into a little later. Have the deep south pin here. Let's see if we can get that guy to focus as well as the last one. I just like keeping pins in the case because I'm not going to wear them. You know, I'm not wearing these to any social functions or anything uh, except for the gathering, which is my knife show. But uh, yeah, back to the knives. Spider Code Tasman Salt. This guy's been to Hawaii. No rust, uh, very interesting performance. Maybe we'll do a review one day, but no rust, it does what it's intended to do. Drop that away. This is actually a gift from a coworker. This is the Spider Co. Rescue. And this is like early 1990s, I believe. It's still got the plastic clip on there. Beautiful knife. And uh, yeah, I'm really thankful to have this. 
Moving on, uh, there used to be a paramilitary too here. Had to sell it to make room for some new stuff and buy some new stuff at the gathering. This is the Spyderco UK pen knife. Great knife, been on a couple trips with me. Just very non-threatening design, but uh, traditional Spyderco performance. And here we're actually gonna start, uh, we're gonna go chronologically. So this is the, um, my first Manix, well, not really my first Manix, but one of the first Manixes I've owned. I've owned quite a few now. That has been modified by myself and Hunter's Edge Knives, H-E-K all day, baby. Uh, beautiful knife. Uh, we could have taken it a little bit thinner on the flats. We really just ground it up and then gave it an edge. So it's, it's, it's a thick grind, and it works. But, uh, yeah, just modified that guy. We're going to leave him out. Grab the next one, the Blurple. I hope this is all in focus. I haven't actually been checking. <laughs> um, the Blurple S110V, uh, wonderful knife, much lighter than the original since they started milling them out. This is the Crown Jewel. This was uh, sold to me for a bro deal by West Chase. Uh, if you're watching, buddy, thank you. It is one of my favorite production knives. So we got the composite steel, the CPM 154 and S90 with peel ply carbon fiber and it is just a beauty. I don't even know if I have enough room. Sweet. And now back into the case they go. I've been collecting for quite some time now, over five years, like seriously collecting. So I've got quite a bit. A lot of these are just gifts, so they don't go anywhere. Makes it hard to move the collection. Uh, Spyderco Shaman. It's a monster of a knife. Another phenomenal production knife. Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. The Tashi Prism. This is a mass drop exclusive, and this knife for 250 bucks is a phenomenal value. And Tashi's designs are just, they're, they're so nice. He's a, he's a talented designer and a very talented maker, and I highly recommend you check out one of his Riate collaboration pieces because it is hard to get a nice Tashi uh, for under, you know, what is this, 250 bucks? And if the video cuts off, guys, there will be a part two, but we're going to try to fit it all in one just because that's how I prefer to watch them. Uh, and the customs are in the back half if you're, if you're one of those guys wondering. Uh, Spyderco Southerd with a Koa scale by Steve Ketchin. Steve, if you're out there watching, uh, I believe that is your name. If it's wrong, it's been, it's been years and years, so my apologies. I bought the knife uh, and the scale work had already been done, but I reached out and just wanted to see what warranty and all sorts of things I could get. Beautiful knife. This is, uh, this is very nostalgic for me uh, because of the time I was collecting. This is like one of my very first nice knives in that like over $200 range. Spider Positron. I was actually trying to sell this guy. We'll see. Um, I just don't carry it. I don't carry this one too much anymore either, but uh, it's just, you know, I've got so many other knives, I keep them for the nostalgia of, uh, you know, being like 14 and getting my first really, really nice knife. Spyderco Spidey Chef, wonderful LCN 200 blade with the Sriracha bead by Zero Feud. You might have seen that sticker on the case. I think it's fitting that it's on the Spidey Chef. Let me know what you guys think of the case tour because uh, it was a little bit choppy and uh, it might make the video suck, so I hope you stuck around. If you did, leave a comment. If you still hated the case overview, uh, also leave a comment and let me know to never try that shit again. Uh, this is the Emerson Horseman, phenomenal knife, needs some, some spa, it's seen better days, you can see the scratching of the blade there maybe. I know I haven't been going close up on these guys, 
Um, but I think for the most part, you've seen a lot of these before. So if there's one that you want to take a closer look at, just uh, leave a comment. Oh, and I hit the tripod. Oh, cardinal sin. Leave a comment down below in the uh, in the comments section, and uh, I can do a video, a full video, hopefully with less tripod errors, and a little less choppy with those knives. Moving on, we are gonna do the last production Spider Co. Uh, sorry, there's one more up here, but that's a special one. Uh, Delica, purple VG10, great knife, used it a lot. All right. Let's knock out the last two, the last three, no, we're just going to keep it going in the right order. Uh, this is the Jeremy Marsh Mac Rockstar, which stands for Marsh Almost Custom, and it is the Rockstar variant. Beautiful knife, beautiful grind, heavy, blued, uh, stonewashed handle. The action on this is phenomenal. Just a beefy tank of a knife. Marsh just has such innovative designs. Alright, keeping it moving. I'm going to run out of customs real fast if I go this route. Crown Jewel of the Collection. Laconico Carbon Fiber Skinny Bear. Carbon Fiber Backspacer. Carbon Fiber Clip. Super Thin Knife. Just disappears into the pocket. Let's take something normal like uh, uh, I guess they're about the same size. I know this is skinny for for Ray. Um, at least that's what he called it. Maybe it's all about the weight. I've never actually pulled anything out to compare them. But D2 Steel. This guy's been with me since 2015. I love those grinds. Ray's a super cool guy. If you don't have a piece by him, I highly recommend it. This guy back in the case. Keeping with the Laconicos, I have the uh, Beagle here and a Tonto variant. You'll notice I like my Tontos. Maybe when this video is done, we'll just pull them all out. Um, this guy is phenomenal. Great little knife. Gathering score. Very compact, dressy. Ray has some of the cleanest like grind designs I've ever seen. Uh, really like that one. Check out some of his Alliance work. Uh, Eden over there with Alliance Designs. They're doing great stuff. Alright, so I'm going to keep this new guy here. Um, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. Barker, semi-custom, mini Hokkaido. This is another gathering score. Got some dirt on it. Hopefully we're focused in here. This guy is a phenomenal knife. I'm thinking about making a video on it just because I don't see too many of them around. There's only about 20 of them out there. But super grateful to have had the opportunity to own two of these actually. And it is just a wicked little knife. They're pretty pricey as far as uh, mid techs go or semi customs, whatever you want to call it. But it is it is a really really cool knife. You can see that beautiful blue. And this is not going to be a safe queen. I intend to carry this guy and use it lightly and within reason. But no safe queens here. Every knife is going to get used a little bit at least. If I don't drop it off my hand here into other knives, which would suck. Beautiful knife. Titanium. I think it's a 154cm. I was looking at the, the stat sheets from uh, Recon 1 on these guys. Love that grind. Just uh, When can you say you owned a Barker? Uh, and that's why I'm going to keep it. Alright, moving on. We'll just go straight across the line here. Strider frag pattern in 3V. This guy is a wicked little knife. Not much else to say about this guy right now. I think I'm going to do a Strider video, so if you're interested in that, let me know. As I recently began collecting them, we'll leave that guy out and grab 
its brother, the SLC. So we're not doing fixed blades today, but uh, because I started collecting striders like a month ago, and I have three of them somehow, which has never happened, I collect Laconicos, and I have been for five years, and I only have two. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what happened. It just uh, it sort of worked out that way. So grab this guy. This is the newest edition. Um, about as new as this guy, and then a little bit newer than that guy. The hybrid, the SMF hybrid. This guy is an absolute monster. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus in on that gunner grip. This is the new gunner grip. I did kind of a video on my gathering scores so you guys could see those. If it ever wants to focus. Come on. Here we go. There it is. Wonderful knife. I wanted something uh, in I just I just like striders, man. It's it's nostalgic for me. And we'll we'll I'm thinking about doing a video on strider, so we'll see. But uh Tonto SMF hybrid because it's not double gunner grip, but only the single side. This knife is massive as you can see in my hand. Um, I did not know what an SMF was, like in terms of size, but this is just a phenomenal knife, and I really like this size actually. But uh, yeah, that's the, the Strider family. And I love these little patches here that I use to indicate where my knives are. So this is the Strider one. Little titanium mummert patch. Let's see. Of course it doesn't want to focus. Wow, it's just fighting me today. Must be too much glare. Anyway, it's the Strider logo. Little ranger eye from Mummert Knives goes right in front of them. Getting a lot of shadows, guys. Sorry, the sun is setting. When I started making these videos this morning, it was a different time of day. So we'll make it quick so that I'm not going to throw off your eyes. We're almost done. Stop using that arm anyway. Actually, let's see if I can't diffuse some of that light for you. Maybe not. All right. Here we go. You can guess from the patch what this is going to be. I live in Alaska and uh, we're in fall, which means the time of day that the sun sets is fluctuating quite rapidly. Um, in fact, we're heading for the long winter. Winter's coming uh, where we get about three hours of daylight in the shortest part. So, you know, wish me luck. Got the Dauntless here from Triple Lot Design. Blackout, carbon fiber, Damascus backspacer. Why are you still here? Get out. <laughs> uh, cool knife, another gathering score. Most of my knives come from the gathering. We'll drop that guy right here. This guy, you'll have to uh, you'll f have to forgive me for not cleaning it off. This is the Umnamzan from Chris Reef. This is the Guncoat version, another gathering exclusive, one of 15. Now there are some FDE ones out there now, but uh, in the Tonto variant, no less. I think this bead is also exclusive. I don't know, but if you do, leave a comment down below. So then the 25, just exactly what you expect from Reeve. Love this knife. Old school Boker Quaken with the large thumb disc. Aus 8 steel. Spider Co. Ladybug USN edition. Get a close up on that. See if it'll ever load. I just came back from the USN show. If you haven't seen one of my videos already, go watch one of the gathering vids. They're my favorite, and I think they're some of my better work. Um, trying to be more active on YouTube just because I used to be super into it when I was a kid. Not making videos, just watching them. This is the Benchmade Proper. This was a gift from my buddy Juan at EDC Alaska. Phenomenal knife. Juan's a phenomenal dude. Uh, love my Anchorage knife buddies. 
And uh, yeah, if you're ever ever in Anchorage, go see him. He's got a cool patch collection. He's got some uh, pretty nice customs that he collects. And now we are into the Microtex. So I have all five years that I've been to the gathering. So we're just going to start with uh, the first year. This is 2015. 2016. 2017. 2018. And 2019. So, what we have here is the uh, double-edged, single serrated side, old school body. Let's see if I can't get my focus to come up here a little bit. Old school body, old school springs. This guy is a monster to fire. It says 